very much looking forward to sharing what we've been doing and uh, Bentley Systems with uh, digitalizing the brownfield using MindSphere. Many of you will be familiar with laser scanning, but over the last few years, it's really been overtaken now by digital photogrammetry and a technique that we call context capture. With that, we are able to start to, to gather that data and process it and turn it into engineering models. And let me just run a very quick a little AVI here to show the kind of models that we can end up generating. Very high fidelity, plant engineering models. They're used across cityscapes. They can do very, very large scale infrastructure that generates these reality meshes. And these reality meshes then become extremely useful for, for many functions. Here we have a reality model where we're classifying some of the objects within that model. We're able to then use that as the, if you like, the link into the asset information. So we can link into the, we can see we'll click on that uh, vessel. It brings up the asset wise elements. We can bring up uh, associated documentation, P and IDs and so on and so forth. Conceptually, that fits very well with uh, the kind of MindSphere and cloud environment, whether it's process simulation, thermal, structural analysis, uh, you know, all the different simulation types, whether it's risk-based inspection, degradation modeling, you know, you name it. The ability for us to be able to surface that data in these kind of environments, put it in the hands of the generalist engineers and the decision makers, I can see a lot of potential for us to make capabilities available on MindSphere straight away today and I think we'll be doing more and more of that. It's an exciting space to be in.